Hi, my name's Bill, and I'm the technical half of the team at WP Done Right. I wanted to discuss with you today the latest product that Greg and I have created to help WordPress owners get the most from their WordPress installations. As you know, at WP Done Right, we are lovers of WordPress, and we're constantly trying to create products to help you get the most value out of WordPress, which we think is an excellent platform for bloggers, internet marketers, and all sorts of people who want to get onto the internet in a fast, easy, and inexpensive way. WordPress in the Cloud is a product for those of you who have been using shared hosting for your WordPress installations and maybe have found it a bit restrictive, a bit slow, and are tired of some of the limitations that should come along with shared hosting. What WordPress in the Cloud is, is it's a step-by-step -step set of instructions for installing WordPress onto an Amazon Cloud server. Now when you think of Amazon, you probably think of Amazon.com, and that actually makes a lot of sense. After all, Amazon.com is one of the oldest and most well-known e-com sites on the internet, and they're certainly the most robust and reliable one. I don't think they've ever actually had a failure. Well, Amazon.com has made the same infrastructure that they use for their websites available to other users in the form of Amazon S3 storage, Amazon Cloud Services, and a number of other services. Amazon Cloud Services are an inexpensive method of getting into what is called cloud computing. Now, you've probably heard something of cloud computing. It's been a big buzzword lately in the industry. But what really is cloud computing, and how can it help you, and why would you want to put your WordPress site on it? Well, let me explain that. Now, with traditional hosting, you lease time on a server. Now, a server is a box, it's a computer that sits in the hosting provider's site, and it's very similar, actually, to the computer that you have at home right now. Now, of course, it's a bit more reliable than the computer you have at home. It's larger, it has more capacity, and hopefully it has a team of people looking over it. But it's still one individual box, and in that case, it is one individual point of failure. If there is a power problem or something at your hosting provider, the computer will go down. If there is a defect in the computer, it will go down. If there's a communication loss to the internet hosting provider's site, down goes your server. Now, there are even additional considerations when you're talking about shared hosting. Now, as that name would imply, you're sharing that with a number of other users. In fact, on a typical shared hosting plan, you could be sharing with several hundred users. Now, you're splitting the computer's power among all of those users. You're splitting the bandwidth among those users. You're probably sharing from the same group or even a single IP address as well. And that means that you are, in effect, associated with these other sites. These sites are your neighbors. And sometimes your neighbor's behavior can affect you. If you've got a neighbor who has a very popular website, they're going to be taking away bandwidth and power that could be going to your site. If you've got a neighbor who's a spammer or gets himself on the blacklist, well, if you're sharing the same IP address, guess what? You're on the same blacklist. Now, one solution to the problem with shared hosting is to get a dedicated server. Now, a dedicated server can solve a lot of these problems. Like it would imply, you actually get your own server or at least your own partition of a server, which is entirely yours. You have your own bandwidth, your own IP address. You're not affected by what your neighbors do. But you still have problems with dedicated servers. First of all, you still have that single point of failure. If something were to happen to the electricity or the communication line to that server, then your site would be down. And in addition, dedicated servers can be rather expensive. And if you've got the budget to spend a few hundred dollars a month for your WordPress site, well, it's not a bad solution, but there is a better one, and that's where we come to cloud computing. Now, with cloud computing, there isn't really one server. In fact, there's a cluster of servers, hundreds or even thousands of servers, and they're not even necessarily in the same location. Quite often, these servers are geographically spread to different locations, and this solves a lot of problems. 
what you get is sort of what's called a virtual server. It's not really a physical box, but it's something that acts exactly like a physical server. You own it, you control it, you can stop it and start it yourself, and you can pick the amount of power that you need for this server. And because this server doesn't reside in one physical location, that single point of failure problem disappears. You now have a server that is redundant. If something happens to one box inside the site, another box takes over. It's seamless. You don't even see it happening. And that's one of the true advantages of cloud servers. Now, as you might imagine, with so much interest in cloud computing, there are a lot of providers who can give you cloud computing platforms. So why would you go to Amazon? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First of all, Amazon has been in the game longer than anybody else. They started off doing this for their own site, for Amazon.com, and thus have built the most reliable cloud computing network in the world. In fact, a lot of cloud computing providers actually are third-party providers who piggyback on Amazon services. But another reason you might want to consider Amazon is that right now, and I mean this year, Amazon has a very special offer available to new users of cloud computing. They will give you what is called a micro instance, which is a smaller CPU, but perfectly adequate for WordPress. And they'll give you that micro instance plus a lot of bandwidth absolutely free. That's right, zero dollars and zero cents. After the year is up, you're going to be paying at their normal rates, which are still quite reasonable and much, much cheaper than going to a dedicated server. In the meantime, you'll get your own IP address, you'll get the performance of having your own server, and the flexibility of being able to do whatever you want to to your server. You can turn it off, you can reboot it, configure it exactly as you need it. Far more flexible than any shared hosting plan that you'll ever find. And right now, it's free. So it sounds like a great deal. So what's the catch? Why doesn't everybody just dump their shared hosting plan and move to cloud servers? Well, the catch is there's a little bit of work you're going to have to do. One thing about shared hosting plans is they've made it very easy for even beginners to get on board. They provide a set of tools, what they call a GUI interface, and pretty well a plug and play type of scenario. A few clicks of the mouse, you've built a WordPress site and you're up and running. And that's all very nice, but with Amazon, you're going to have to do a little bit more work to install it. You're going to have to roll up your sleeves and actually do a little bit of command line stuff and everything. Now, it's not very hard, but if you've never done it before, it can seem a little bit challenging. And that's where WordPress in the cloud comes in. Now, in WordPress in the cloud, I'm going to walk you step by step through everything that you need to do to get yourself up and running on an Amazon cloud server. I'm not going to assume anything. I'm going to assume you've never even seen Amazon cloud services. And we're going to start off by showing you how to enroll in the cloud services and how to subscribe to the services that you're going to need. And then I'm going to take you and walk you through every single step necessary to build a WordPress server that is running on an Amazon cloud on a micro instance that you can host for free for one year. Now I know different people like to learn different things different ways so we're going to give you this in a couple of different modalities. It's going to come with a step-by-step ebook. If you're the sort of person who just likes to read the instructions and follow along, then you can follow through the ebook and get everything done. If, however, you prefer video instruction, we've got no less than 15 videos. Now, they're all short videos. They range anywhere from two to, I think, the longest one is about nine minutes. And they'll take you again, step by step, through everything you need to do to get a working WordPress server on an Amazon cloud. Now with the fully illustrated ebook and all of the videos, there's very little chance that you're going to fail or not be able to do this. But if you run into any problems, you'll also have access to the WP Done Right forum where you can ask questions and we will get back to you. We're going to make sure that you succeed in doing this. And once you've done it once, 
You can do it over and over again and build more WordPress sites in the cloud. You'll find that it's very easy and that you don't even need to go through all of the steps the second time because some of them are just preliminary steps to set up your Amazon account. Now you won't need any special technical skills to accomplish this. You don't need any programming skills. There's no PHP or HTML or JavaScript or any of that required from you. You're just going to need to be able to follow instructions and we've laid out the instructions as simply as possible. There's a flow chart that you'll be following all the way through it and a step-by-step -step set of instructions. So as long as you're willing to do that, you'll be able to get this to work. And once you do have this working, you'll have stepped into the world of cloud services. You'll have stepped into a world of higher performance and of greater control, and your WordPress site will be prepared for the future. So if you're ready to bring your WordPress site to the next level, I urge you to go and get a copy of WordPress in the cloud. It's a very inexpensive course. It allows you to take advantages of Amazon's free micro instance, and it'll let you move your site to the next level. So I hope to see you on the inside. I hope that, too, you can also bring your WordPress into the cloud. Thank you.